This is Chris from the Trader Guy taking a look at the Euro dollar. It's March 28th as I look at this and you can see the overall trend in structure of course has been negative for a long time. Now we've had a nice run higher but when you look at this you can see what I'm focusing on. I'm focusing on 110 more than anything else. It does seem to be an area that over the years between here and about 108 has mattered, right? So let me go ahead and draw another line here. And you can see that this more or less defines an area. And it's not perfect, obviously. We're going back to like two, uh, 2015. But you can see this is an area that has attracted both support and resistance. We've hung out underneath it a couple of times um, and then recently plunged through there. So looking at it through that prism and the um, I suppose you could take a look at it through uh, the prism of um, Fibonacci retracement. You know, whether you take it from there or you take it from there, it's basically telling you the same thing. And that is that we are near the 61.8 uh, Fibonacci retracement level. But more importantly to me is I see a... Um, I see an area that showed a massive amount of selling pressure recently right here. And those don't typically happen in a vacuum. Typically you see something um, fall down from there. And then if you retest it, you see a little trouble. And we did see that uh, a couple of days ago. Now we're heading back to that area. So I think the Euro is at a major inflection point. If we break 110, then I think it means something. I think the, the euro goes higher, and by extension, the dollar goes much lower. However, if we break back below 108, I'm going to go ahead and throw small shorts out there. Now, I recognize that it could be a huge fight. I also recognize that a lot of this will come down to bond yields. So with that, let's take a look at... Uh, U.S. 10 uh, year yield. So there's the yield there. Now this is not bond pricing. This is the bond yield. If yields start to spike for the U.S. dollar, that should bring the value of the euro down. Let me go ahead and, and hide this. This is a daily chart. Let me go ahead and go to the line. And you can see that we are definitely in an area right here that I think coincides quite nicely. Uh, you know, we'll just call it 335 with the theme of 108 to 110 in the Euro. So I'll be watching this perhaps on a shorter time frame, and, and see if we get some type of break of structure to the upside, because if we do, then I'll be looking for a break of structure to the downside in the Euro. And that will be the final uh, piece of the puzzle for me shorting the Euro. Uh, probably looking at a move towards the, um, can pull up the daily, probably looking at a move towards maybe 106, maybe even 105 and a half.